When the air hunters start investigating unclaimed estates, they often stumble across secrets. Secrets that have been kept for years, which, when uncovered, can stun even the closest of relatives. Margaret Duncan has been an air hunter for the past six years. In that time, she's worked on numerous cases and traced dozens of missing heirs. But one case she solved stands out from the crowd. On the 19th of November 2000, a 70-year-old man called William George Mace died, leaving £12,000 and no will. Margaret Duncan was employed by William Mace's solicitor to see if he had any living relatives who might be entitled to his money. Well, my research started when the solicitor gave me the information that he'd got, was that um, Mr William Mace uh, had died the date and when he was born. Margaret was told that William Mace perhaps had two or three brothers and sisters. Once I'd established the date of birth, I looked on the birth indexes and then worked either side of that looking for possible siblings and thought I was looking for two or three and uh, subsequently found 11. Brian Mace was the first of the children Margaret contacted. He didn't know that he had a brother called William. As far as he knew, he was one of just six brothers and sisters and not 11, as Margaret suggested. Up to the age of 30, I remembered uh, Lily, John, Harry, Edward and Margaret and that was all we remembered. Brian thought his family tree looked like this. His parents had six children. There were two siblings younger than Brian, Harry and Margaret. He had two older brothers, Edward and John, and the oldest was sister Lily, who left home when Brian was small. In fact, his family tree looks like this. Brian's mum, Alice, and dad, Albert, had 11 children. The deceased man, William Mace, was one of five older brothers and sisters that Brian didn't know existed. There was 11, see which was a total shock. Well, it would be to anybody, wouldn't it? Brian's parents, Alice and Albert, had lived a nomadic life. The children had lived on tramp. They were travellers, sometimes walking 15 or 20 miles a day, as Father Albert looked for casual work in Norfolk. The children were neglected and malnourished. Older brother George died in infancy of starvation. Eventually, all the children were taken away from their parents and put into Bernardo's children's home. But despite having their first five children taken away, Albert and Alice went on to have six more, including Brian, who was totally oblivious to what had happened. Since Margaret's investigation, Brian has been introduced to some of his older brothers and sisters and a whole new generation of Mace family members. I feel doing the work I do is a little bit like putting a jigsaw together and it's nice to see the final result. Um, and I'm always very pleased when beneficiaries can be found and also if the um, families are interested in the family history, it isn't all about the money that they're going to get because in some cases it's a very small amount. What a fantastic result for the air hunters and what a shock for the heirs. All those brothers and sisters that they never knew existed. Why not take a look at your family tree? You never know what you might discover.